Hello friends welcome back to my channel. Today we discuss about The Challenger 3, the United Kingdom's next generation main battle tank, represents a significant leap forward in armoured warfare for the British Army. Slated to enter service in 2026, this formidable vehicle is not merely an upgrade of its predecessor, the Challenger 2 but a near total transformation that reflects modern battlefield needs, technological evolution, and the demands of NATO interoperability. At the heart of the Challenger 3 is its advanced L55A1 120mm smoothbore gun, a departure from the rifled gun used on previous British tanks. This change allows the tank to fire NATO standard ammunition including advanced kinetic energy penetrators and programmable airburst rounds. The adoption of a smoothbore gun brings the UK in line with its NATO allies, simplifying logistics and enhancing combat effectiveness in joint operations. This powerful gun is paired with a fully digital fire control system, offering improved first round hit probability and faster engagement of targets even while on the move. Protection remains a hallmark of the Challenger line, and the Challenger 3 raises the bar. It is equipped with the latest modular armor system, likely incorporating elements of the advanced Dorchester composite, which has already proven highly effective in combat. In addition to its space armor, Challenger 3 will feature enhanced active protection systems, APS, such as the Trophy APS or similar technology capable of intercepting and neutralizing incoming anti-tank missiles and rocket-propelled grenades. These upgrades significantly increase crew survivability in high-threat environments, particularly in urban warfare or asymmetric engagements. Mobility is another area where the Challenger 3 shows substantial improvements. While it retains the robust and heavily armored profile of a main battle tank, its upgraded power pack, featuring a more powerful engine and enhanced transmission, improves acceleration and maneuverability. This allows the tank to operate more effectively across diverse terrains, whether on the plains of Eastern Europe or more rugged environments. Suspension and chassis upgrades have also been made to support the heavier turret and added systems, ensuring reliability and performance. Digitization is central to the Challenger 3's concept. The vehicle will incorporate a new electronic architecture that allows for easier upgrades, better integration of battlefield information, and faster data sharing between units. The crew will benefit from improved situational awareness through upgraded sensors, thermal imaging, and an advanced battle management system. These features make the Challenger 3 not just a fighting vehicle, but a mobile command platform capable of dominating the information domain as well as the physical. One of the most compelling aspects of the Challenger 3 program is its modularity and future proofing. Metal B Systems Land, RBSL, the joint venture behind the tank's development, has designed it with growth in mind. As threats evolve and new technologies emerge here such as AI-assisted targeting, hybrid power systems, and even directed energy weapons of the Challenger 3 is built to adapt without requiring a complete redesign. This ensures relevance on the battlefield for decades to come. In summary, the Challenger 3 is not just a tank it's a statement of intent. It marks the UK's commitment to modern armoured warfare and NATO cooperation while giving its armed forces a formidable edge in combat. With cutting-edge firepower, world-class protection, and unmatched digital capability, the Challenger 3 is poised to be one of the most advanced main battle tanks in service when it rolls out in 2026. 